14 feet, 27 at one end, 20, I don't know, 5 at the other, maybe 24 at the, at the top end. This one, unfortunately, split. We'll get some decent wood out of it, though. I guess. I'll show you. These were both leaning very hard. Uh, this one was actually leaning that way. We tried to get it to fall a little bit that way so we'd have more on the flat ground, but it didn't wanna, it didn't wanna go. So as I was, as I was bringing the, the blade across, it decided it wanted to go sooner than I wanted it to. And we basically had the same problem here. Although this one, I screwed up and I was coming in at an angle, which was unintended, but that's okay. So it was a 30 inch bar, 30, I think it's technically a 36 inch bar. It has 30 inch actual cut capacity. So right here to the edge of the bark is 30 inches. <clears throat> and I was, again, just kind of bringing it in and it decided it wanted to go. So, you know, what can you do? You let it go. This little section was horribly warped. Uh, so if the tree were still attached here, the tree would actually be going up that way based on the stump. So, Let's try that from a better, different angle, better perspective. All right, so if the uh, tree were still attached to this portion of the stump, instead of going that way like you'd expect, the tree that's laying down there would actually be going up at an angle like this. It was, it was pretty curved. But that's okay. It is what it is. So this one will come back another time to do uh, another day this week. So it is what it is. Uh, based on the law online wet log weight calculator, the section, the first section from this guy weighs just shy of 3,000 pounds and that log we just took weighs another 2,500 pounds so we're pushing our tractor's capacity. Alright, well as you can tell we're getting some new logs. Uh, this particular footage is what happens when you think you have the right size ball and you don't. <laughs> So once we actually got some weight on the trailer, it popped the ball off, uh, which was kind of weird because when we first put the ball on with the two and five sixteenths ball, it didn't act like the it didn't want to go on. Um, so not sure exactly what happened there, but this is the log that uh, I was mentioning earlier weighs right around 3,000 pounds and so we ended up deciding the easiest way to get that on at that point since the 75 horse tractor didn't actually have the ability to pick it up and that there was what happens when your tractor operator doesn't realize there's a camera there. <laughs> Luckily it's a pretty robust tripod and camera. Not too worried about it. But uh, we ended up only taking the, these two log sections. And you can see this is where we 
cut the trees and we're just trying to decide the best way the hope was potentially that we could use the tractor to drag the lot the, the tree up a little bit but uh, this tree is probably close to 120 feet tall and it was uh, 36 inches at the butt I think uh, like 34 33 inches at, at breast height um, so it is it is a very big very heavy tree because cottonwood is extremely heavy so <coughs> trying to use my chainsaw so I didn't have to worry about getting my buddy's chain in any dirt or debris that uh, was down there but apparently my chain was was not as sharp as it needed to be so we ended up using his longer chain anyway that's why I'm trying to play with it right now as I had I thought I had sharpened it but apparently not then his ran out of gas <laughs> <clears throat> so this was as mentioned earlier this is the, the section of tree that we uh, showed him dragging off uh, we cut this a little over 14 feet uh, the goal here is to get some deck boards for some trailers And there you have it. The uh, second tree there was kind of disappointing because it ended up splitting about halfway up the tree. So there's there's a potential for getting some some lumber out of it still. Uh, we need two by six, two by eight sized boards for the trailers. Uh, we're going to redeck the trailer that I'm working on and uh, my buddy whose trees these are has two trailers that need redecking so we're gonna we're gonna redeck those as well and yeah I mean that's pretty pretty much what it is um, he had to go and like I said this this pretty much maxes out both the trailer and the and the pickup so we didn't want to put any more weight on here this is actually one of the trailers that needs to be redecked <laughs> so this is a pretty s simple straightforward process you just throw some chains over and then latch them down but uh, I don't know I'm always always paranoid about the logs. Anyway, this will be a quick video again, so as always, thank you for watching. God bless you and yours. Stay safe out there. We'll get some more footage of uh, next time when we're out there to get some more of those sections of the tree, and uh, we'll try and get some footage of actually felling the next couple of trees. <laughs>